Hey everyone, welcome back. In this video, you will learn how you can save specific kind of file links of Google Drive into Google Sheets automatically. Guys, Google Drive is used for storing your stuff and data into a cloud based storage. But sometimes you want to fetch out some particular kind of data from your Google Drive and you want to store it into any other place like as Google Sheets. So guys, here we have developed an automation technique for this uh, issue. And with the help of this automation, you can save your time in manually copy pasting the data from Google Drive to any other place. Here, whenever you are going to add a specific kind of file in any folder in Google Drive, the link of that file will be sh shared and stored in Google Sheets row automatically and you do not have to do it manually. And we can set up this automation without any coding super easily. So let's begin. So guys, I have given this name here. Now click on create button and you can see the workflow page is loading up. And on this page, guys, you will find these two modules, the trigger and the action. So with the help of these two things, we can set up any automation here, guys, trigger is going to start the workflow and the action would be an automated response of the trigger. In this use case, guys, uploading a file in Google Drive is going to trigger the workflow. And if it's a particular kind of file, for example, let's say we want to share the data of Excel files into some other place like in Google Sheets. Okay, so whenever I'm going to upload an Excel file here in Google Drive, the data the, the, that is going to trigger the workflow and it will be shared on Google Sheets. Okay. So guys here in the trigger, first of all, we need to choose the trigger application as Google Drive. So search for Google Drive here and select it. Then select a trigger event as new file in specific folder. Okay. So here we have this connect button, click on it from here, select add new connection, then click on sign in with Google and it will bring you to this window. From here, you have to choose that Google account by which you have uh, the access to the drive in which you are saving or uploading any files. Okay, so select that account. Then you have to provide some additional access to your account as well. So from here, click on continue. It's completely safe and you can see the authorization is getting successful and we are now connected. Okay, so here it is asking for the folders name in which you are uploading the particular kind of Excel file. So this is my folder guys. You can see the name of my folder is team files. Okay, and I'm uploading these kind of Excel files here. Right. So here I'm going to select team files folder search for it. Here it is. Okay. Now when I'm going to click on save and send test request button, the last file that I have uploaded in this folder will be fetched in the response section. So the last file I have uploaded is uh, is this one, I think. Let's check. I'm going to click on save and send test request here. And here you can see we have received the data. And in this data, we have received the self link. And the title you can see the title is sample report Gantt chart. This is the name of the file sample report Gantt chart. Okay, exact name is here. This is the thumbnails link and uh, you when you scroll down a bit more, you will find the email address of yours. And when you scroll down a bit more guys, you will find uh, the link of the file. You can see the extension is also here. The file full file extension label. It is showing Excel SX, which means the file is Excel MS Excel kind of file. And here is the downloadable URL of the same file. Okay. Now guys, I want to add the details of this file into a spreadsheet, which I've created in Google Sheets application. So this is my Google Sheet application. Uh, sorry, this is my Google Sheet spreadsheet. Here you can see the name of my sheet is Google Drive files. And here I want to basically store the two things, the files name and the files link. Okay. Now to make this happen, first of all, guys, I'm going to ensure that only the links of the Excel type files will be stored in my spreadsheet. Okay, for that to happen, I'm going to apply some filter conditions here. 
for that use this action step and here you will find this filter by pavli feature select this and here you can apply the condition on the basis of which you can filter out some particular kind of files okay so here in this filter it is asking to select the label select the filter type and put a value here so in this select label field i am going to select this label the full file extension label here okay so to select it just click here and the previous step will appear here click on it and you will find uh, the extension label you can just search for the here you can see full file extension label map it select it okay and here select the filter type equals to only and in the value just put the extensions value okay this is the extension for excel type files just put the extension value here in this field now this means this filter is going to see if the files extension is equal to xlsx then only the files will be sent to other spreadsheet so now you can check this condition by clicking on save and send test request here let's click it okay and here you can see this condition is now true okay so whenever this condition is going to be true the workflow will continue and after that we want that this files data will be sent to my google sheet okay for that to happen just click here on this plus icon and from this action window select google sheets here it is okay then select the action event here as add new row then click on connect from here select add new connection and then click on sign in with google and follow the same process so guys actually we are already connected with my google account and every connection that you make here is saved in your account so if you want to make the connection again with the same application you can use your saved connections for that just click here on this plus uh, connect button and here you will find this select existing connection option and here it will show you the list of all your saved connections so from here you can choose any of your save connection and then click on save one more time and you will be connected again okay like this and here guys it is asking to select your spreadsheet so the name of my spreadsheet is google drive files let me select it from here okay and the sheet name is auto populated because i have only one sheet here named as sheet one okay then it is asking for the file name and the file link these two fields are the headers of the columns i have here okay now it is time to map the value of these fields so guys to map it you just have to click here and from the first step you will find the file name you can just search for the name label okay so here you can see the original file name label is here just map it similarly map the file link and i'm going to map the downloadable link of the file here is the download url click on it to map it now check your connection with google sheet by clicking on save and send test request button and this data will be sent as the test data here in these two columns okay let's see i am clicking on save and send test request and this is the response we got let's see if we got a new row added here and here we got a new row added like this all right so here you can see the file's name and the link which is a downloadable link so whenever you are going to click on it your excel file which was there previously okay so here it is showing an error that it's uh, the api key is valid api key is missing okay so i think uh, we need to map some other link okay so here you can see this link is google api link so we have to figure out uh, any other link we have uh, all other links as well and here you can see we have this web content link also and here it is it is also a downloadable link let me open this okay so you can see the file got downloaded as i opened it so we can use this link guys okay let's let's do this again let's map the data again uh, i am just erasing the data here and let me map it again here in this step okay from the first google drive step map this web content link okay not the download link 
map web content link okay and then click on save and send test request button all right we got this response let's check the google drive here we got the data and now when you open uh, the link the file will be downloaded you can see like this okay and this is the same file sample report so this is how it is going to work guys we just need to change one thing here and we are done setting up this automation and you have to set up it only once after that it will work automatically whenever you are going to upload a excel kind of file in your google drive and guys i'm going to paste the link of this workflow in the description so that you can clone this workflow in your own free pably connect account and start using this automation instantly guys thank you so much for watching our video and please please let us know how our automation ideas are helping you in the comment section and if you have any queries related to this application please ask your queries from this forum link and do check the pricing of this application from this link and guys we are open to ideas if you want us that we should make videos on other aspects of your business please do let us know in the comment section and if you like our work please subscribe to our channel